Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for allowing me to come today and uh, talk with you about the icon American Lobster. The American Lobster, Omaris Americanus, accounts for about 55% of the global lobster supply. In U.S. waters, this species extends from the state of Maine south to the state of North Carolina. The cold water American lobster commercial fishery has been in existence since the 1850s. The fishery is year-round, but the majority of catch takes place from May through December of each year. It's governed primarily by the weather conditions. The American lobster fishery is sustainable and traceable throughout the supply chain. Each of the Northeast coastal states has its own regulations, with Maine being the most stringent. The fishery is owner-operated, with lobster being caught and measured one lobster at a time. Currently, there were over 7,000 independent harvesters in the U.S., with approximately 5,600 in the state of Maine. Cold water lobsters are harvested using wire traps. The traps sit on the ocean floor and are attached with a rope and buoy which floats on the surface. Regulatory management measures include limits on the minimum and maximum size of a lobster that can be harvested. In the state of Maine, you can't harvest a lobster that's less than 454 grams or larger than the equivalent of five pounds. Trap limits control fishing efforts. Measures to protect egg-bearing female lobsters include throwing the lobsters back overboard if the aching is evident. And at the same time, also V-notching the tail, the second flipper of the tail of the lobster. So to carry on, um, as Brian just told you, we have hard shell lobsters, firm shell lobsters, and new shell lobsters. Um, I've uh, listed out grading for size. Many of the live lobster dealers will grade according to different sizes, uh, as well as processors. Uh, the shell quality, hard shell is usually from January to June, with a yield of between 25 and 27%. Chingling? How many are you going to do with the copy of this? Cameron? We have a copy. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, firm shell from October through January, 20 to 22% yield. And then the new shell from July through September, 15 to 17%. There are variants, variations of this, but this is basically the way the season runs in the Northeast. There are a number of different uh, American lobster cook product forms. There's a whole cooked, uh, cooked claw and knuckle meat, cooked tail meat, minced lobster meat, and lobster leg meat. Uh, there are also some processing innovations that have taken place over the last 10 years. Uh, there are new freezing methods um, using liquid nitrogen. Most of the processors in the US now use liquid nitrogen to freeze. Uh, they also have adopted a continuous steam cooking versus batch cooking and uh, adopted vacuum packaging and several uh, facilities also have high pressure processing. American raw products, American lobster raw products include whole raw or blanched, uh, split raw with claw, split raw with claw and knuckle in the body, raw lobster tails, whole and split, leg meat, and raw claw and knuckle meat. We have some raw claw and knuckle meat up in the back uh, for display. This is a product uh, information sheet. Uh, gives you more or less the, the configurations uh, by pallet, uh, by net, and net weight, and then um, the port of, of import. Any questions 
I'll be around to answer any questions after the presentation, after uh, Barton's had a chance to, to also make his presentation. Um, and I'll give you my card uh, should you have any other questions. The US Atlantic Sea Scallops are uh, protected and managed using a combined approach of effort limitation and rotating harvest areas, which maximize scallop yields while protecting beds of young scallops to produce the world's largest wild scallop fishery. Rotational closures of fishing areas produce larger scallops. More meat per shell means a more profitable product. Fishing vessels reach per trip cat quotas faster, and gear changes have improved yields and decreased discards. U.S. sea scallop harvest, they're sorted by size. They're shucked, rinsed, bagged, and iced at sea for optimal quality. Market sizes are U10s, 1020s, 2030s, and 3040s. That means count per pound. Product forms include fresh and frozen, IQF or block frozen, all natural dry or water added. Uh, there are also a number of prepared meal products. All product forms are available throughout the year, both in fresh and frozen. So to conclude, food export uh, assists U.S. companies to develop foreign markets by cost sharing, uh, funding assistance, uh, which uh, you've heard about uh, at the beginning of this presentation, customizing foreign market research, assisting with overseas trade shows, export education, and one-on-one -on -one meetings with foreign buyers, both in the U.S. and overseas. We also assist you, the importer, to source U.S. products. We do product information and education, hence you're all here today. Uh, we do demonstrations and seminars, product promotion support, and introduce you to U.S. suppliers. In conclusion, I thank you all for coming today. And uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce Chef Barton Seaver who will share with you uh, some of his recipes and his extensive knowledge uh, for both uh, main, for both, excuse me, American Hello. lobster and for uh, American sea scallops.